What is going on survivors? Welcome back to the channel. Beats here with you and this video going to be taking a look at where to get some high tier blueprints on the new Crystal Isles map. Like and subscribe if you guys do enjoy the content. Drop a comment down below how you're enjoying the new map and if this video was able to help you out, let's get into the video. So first thing, there are three entrances to this underwater cave. Um, this way tends to be my favorite so far. So I'll give you the coordinates. And let's check the map. And what you're going to need is definitely an ichthy. Because there are, uh, let's see, electric eels down there, mosas, sea scorpions, mantas, anglers, all types of stuff. So I can show you what I got for one fat run so far. So I was able to get a uh, flak BP 494 Dora, not bad. Uh, 508 Dora fur helmet, Giga saddle, uh, Bassy saddle. I got two uh, Wooly Rhino blueprints as well. That one's really good. Ute saddle, so some really high tier blueprint items. Compound bow there as well. So make sure you got your ichthy and your scuba gear, and that's really about it. And I would recommend bringing. Let me drop off this stuff. That was not in the drop. Let me see. And I would definitely recommend bringing scuba pants as well because it can get pretty cold down there. Let me drop this off. I'm going to have as little weight as possible for going down there. All right. So if you head straight down from here, this has been my favorite way to enter in and out of the cave. As I said, there are three entrances in and out. This one has the most drops from what I can tell closest to it. As you can see, there's one right here already. So let's hop off and grab that. Oh, that's not good. I did not see that. The eel was in the floor. You got to be kidding me. As you can see, I'm not on God mode. Doing this legit. Let's lead him out here a little bit. Then we'll go over there and grab that drop. There's a bunch of eels there. Or like in the floor at least four of them there all right so this first drop is going to be a challenge all right let's scoot back in there and we'll get that drop oh how did he get me i don't even believe that all right hopefully we can scoop this one up let's see what we get not bad like pre-made fur and some scuba flippers nice journeyman BP all right let's keep heading in and this cave is massive absolutely massive so I won't take you through the whole thing but I'll show you all of the loot that I get from each of the drops because it's quite confusing in here it's gonna take a while to get used to what all this cave has to offer one thing to note there is elemental ore in here as well. So if you wanted to farm some elemental ore, there's another eel. Look at that. He's on me quick. You can farm it right here. So just a heads up. So I'll push forward and I'll grab drops and I'll show you what I get from each on this run. There's about eight drops in here so far I've been able to count. And also to note, there is the artifact of the lost right here. I'll grab it just for fun. As you can see, artifact of the lost. Boom. All right, so I'll head in, I'll grab some more drops, and I'll show you each one of them. Let's get it. All right, literally two seconds later, after I cut out, we got another one. Let's see what we got. And eh, nothing too special on that one. Electric prod and a club BP, nothing special. All right, let's head along. All right, let's grab that one, see what we get. Eh, nothing that special. Let's keep moving. All right, there's another drop straight ahead. That one was a little further away from the last one. We got some jellyfish coming in. Let's make, okay, all right. Some apprentice fur gloves. These aren't too good. All right, so this is where you can access the second entrance. So straight up here. And I can give you the cords. I have a bed and stuff right here. So let me show you the cords. This is where you can get basically into the middle of the cave. Let me hop off. So 31.2 by 48.4. And I'll show you on the map. All right. 
so it goes pretty much underneath all, all of this snow biome. And check out my Igby, level 106, definitely nothing special. So we came out of that spot there, but we're going to go in through another entrance. Here it is. So we got to go up. All right, so I'll bring you back when I find some more drops. Oh, and as soon as I say that, there's another drop. This one's a yellow one. Let's look, get some good stuff here. Come on. Ooh, 472 flak boots journey. That's a good drop. Whoa, the gamma just changed crazy. All right, I'll bring you guys back when I find another drop. All right, this area is crazy. I don't think I've seen this before. Look at all of these oil nodes. If we had a donkey or something, even though it's kind of irrelevant on this map, it would be nice. But here's another drop. If I don't get hit by that thing. Even though they don't really target me. But let's grab this one. All right, night vision goggle BP and ascendant electric prod. Never going to make that, but it's a blueprint. All right, let's keep heading on. I'm going for it. Ooh, riot. Oh, we got a journeyman parasaur saddle. That's pretty good. And I'll take a look at everything at the end, but let's keep heading through. Let's see what we can find. Grab this drop. Ooh, pre-made compound bow. Love to see it. All right, off to the next drop. Huh. Almost immediately, another drop. They're everywhere down here. So much loot. Pre-made Pariser. All right, I think that's the end of the run. It's possible I missed some drops even too. Because that cave is massive, and there's a lot of area that's tough to even find. So this is the third entrance, I guess you could say. The third way in and out. Let me show you. I got a little vault over here. Alright, let me put this stuff on. And we'll see what we got. So minus the scuba stuff. So pretty good. Got the flak BP, 472. That's pretty good. Pre-made compound bow. Some electric prods. Meh. Ooh. An ascendant megatherium saddle. That's very useful. And parister saddles. I'm guessing you can get some good platforms down there as well, which could be very good. Uh, riot gear. All right. Yeah, so not a bad run. I might have missed some drops too, so... If you guys check that out, find some good gear, let me know down in the comments if this is able to help you out. And as always, keep on surviving, and I will see you guys in the next one.